Okaidi nasai. That's Japanese for welcome on back. And indeed, welcome on back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin number three. I'm your host, Rising Fun Gaming, and we're heading on into our 14th day of the adventure. Now, today we're going to look for Louis, who has escaped with all our beautiful, lovely, tasty juices. Ah, trust Louis. <laughs> okay. We are heading back to the Garden of Reuniting. And we have so much to do today. It is going to be hectic. Day number 14. It is definitely hands down the most challenging day yet. Got lots and lots of paths to open. Quite a few enemies to dispatch. And if time is going well, hopefully taking out a big, big nasty. Very, very hard. To not lose quite a few of our lovely, lovely pickies. And we don't want that. I've grown so attached to the lovelies. First up, I'm guessing we are going to be really efficient if we split into two. We want at least 30 blue group, 30 inner group. That'll be good. And we want you. Mr. Alf to just hide around that corner just out of danger in the meantime oh, I don't need all those pinks destroy you now 10 pinks rest blues now what we want to do is first we want to open up this little doorway pipey gate We're going to do a bit of fish slaughter here. Hopefully without any deaths. Now these guys are relatively weak, but they will jump and they will go for your flying pikmin as well. Um, but it doesn't seem to have caused too much trouble, so that's great. So have I got all my blues? Yep. Now next I think we'll regroup. We've got to get our our wingies together. Now's the time to get the rest of those. The reason I didn't carry them there in the first place is because they're in the way and they can get um, spat at by those fishies. Now these guys, they will quickly eat you and they will cover you with um, ink. Which will really scatter you around and cause a lot of harm. But if you rush them with enough blues, they're absolutely no problem next up so we want to hit that rendezvous we've got some action around the corner but not wasting any time we're just gonna get in and we're gonna multitask the hell out of today captain happy bubbles down for the count now they will get stuck in the bubbles but it's not too much trouble if they're above water like that. We're gonna drop and splash, so not a problem. Bubbly blues over water. It's all good. It's all good. Now next we've got another we want a double team of pinks and well you don't necessarily need blues, but because we're going through water, we'll need blues in that case. So chill these guys up and take this fella out. So it's a simple procedure of um, taking out the eyes. Um, once you've done that, he'll flip over in surprise, anguish. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just a simple matter of rushing him. So, death to Smoochie. See you later. Bye-bye. It's pretty cool, we haven't seen these pieces before, so we've got some, what do you call it, China? <laughs> so we've got two groups of 30 pieces of China to um, reconstruct some sort of former dish, bowl thingy. To be a very important bridge for us. So there's a lot of running around today, we've got to make this temporary jumpy platform in order to make the bridge bridge. So time is 
Gonna get used up big time. Okay, it's nice that we have you guys together, <clears throat> but now let's let's definitely change up our roster of pickies. Now, just over the way, we've got Captain Snappy. <laughs> In other words, the angry crab guy. And it's good to wail on him with a few rock pikmin. Take out that dangerous, dangerous claw. Pretty sure once you've uh, disabled him by taking the claw off, he can't do a whole lot except for scuttle about and look sorry for himself. Man, that onion's looking pretty. Pretty. So hopefully we can do this without any deaths. It's usually tough going. This guy is quite he's quite fast on his feet. Alright, might chili it up too. Oh, that's not good. Quick kick. Ah, cool, cool. So if you hit his claw whilst he's got him in the air. Oh no. Ah, I got him. Two. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So yeah, it's kind of tough. There is the other option of um, completely rushing him with the full complement of your army, but... Mm, a little bit troublesome at this stage. So two down, I better make sure to um, go back to the onion and pluck some more. Because we're going to need every last Pikmin to support us for the upcoming skirmish. Okay, lovely, very good. Um, I'll have to get one of you boys back to the onion in a sec. You guys can do Diggy Diggy Hole. Minecraft style. Um, and here we have the secret memo. So if you remember from a previous episode, we've got a three and a six now. Looking at the gamepad, I think there's... Oh, what was there? Something like ten... Ten-ish, I'm going to say. 10 secret memos. So I've only got two in my travels thus far, so yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. Still a lot to find. And I think one thing I haven't really done is done a lot of digging around. I think I have a feeling there's quite a few uh, buried treasures around the place that I haven't been um, capitalizing on. So I like my ratio, like pinks, blues and rocks, pretty much all I'm going to need for the upcoming. I guess I can get some chili out while we get this bridge built. <laughs> it's probably not going to be worth my time. Okay, we're already done here. So it's getting about that time to... Get on down. Yeah, this was pretty much a waste. And guess what? Uh, maybe could get a fourth bottle out. Ah, uh, if I didn't do that. <laughs> ah, you fool. Yeah, that probably would have made four. Well, I don't think we'll need that many anyway. 
Man, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. So I've already failed miserably <laughs> twice against this big old boss coming up. I'm pretty sure I've got a good feeling about this one, but gee, I'm I'm nervous. <laughs> pretty silly. It's just a game. I'm nervous for my pickies. I don't want them to die. I rabu them. Here we go, here we go. So this in the English is the pa Paludambul. Paludambul. We have a life signal coming from here, so we believe Louis is amongst it somehow. Another really cool boss design. It's really, really fantastic. So ideally you'd have reds. I mean, no, not ideally. It would be fantastic if I could use reds. But... Because we've got all these massive puddles in the way, the way to go is blue. Now, I don't know the strength of the blue's attack in ratio to the others. I have a feeling it's pretty good. So, thankfully, all you all you need to do is take out or make really red. <laughs> one of his feet before he'll come down. Um, something that I've done wrong in previous things is getting too close here. Look at this. Look at that. Not cool. So you've really got to hold back. One, two, three, four. About five or six deaths there. So do not climb on it with lots of Pikmin. He will eat like 20 or 30 at a time. Try to get in from a distance and be quite vigilant on calling them back. I was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit slow on that, so I paid the price. Now, once we've got the the crystal out, I think I'm going to be able to start using a bit of chili and sending my pinks right at his face. And man, if you've got enough pinks on chili, they are a force to be reckoned with. They really, really hurt. Even even though they're so cute. So I've got to keep calling you back. Get back. Don't get crushed, buddies. Um, we've got time against us too. Alright. Oh, he's not down. He's teasing us. Alright. Come on, come on. Yep, that's good. So the tongue is going to come out again. Hold back. Nice. Okay. Hit him up. I'm really satisfied with how that went, actually. <laughs> so high up, I didn't even manage to see his health. What's he at? Um, I think it's probably stupid to rush him. It's best to just keep throwing him on like I'm doing now. Because if you rush it, you could rush right under that foot. Alright, let's get our flyers on. Go wingies. Oh man, his health is right down, isn't it? And that tongue. Ah, oh, I don't think that... I don't... Yeah, he didn't eat them, so... Good, man, good. I only have a melon. <laughs> and a Louis. Ah, he is here. It's Olimar. I wonder if he's okay. Ah, so we get a melon. Rock melon. That over there? Is it a spaceship? I wonder if it's Olimar. Olimar's. But it appears to be broken. Oh. 
Anyway, let's get Olimar back on board the Drake. Oh, that's a relief. What am I? I'm eight down. That's great. And what we've got a minute under a minute. <laughs> this is gonna be exactly like the other day. The last last time I saved him. So let's get our food a tiny bit closer. <laughs> uh, okay, that's interesting. We need twenty apiece. Remember that for tomorrow. Louis should be five as always. Ah, oh, he was. Hey, it says I've got zero. Zero on the loose. Ah, oh, is that because they're going through the... Zero? Ah, oh, there we go, 24. Okay, so I wonder if it... If they're in transit between two different areas when the day finishes exactly, if... Yeah, what happens? <laughs> Alright, good. Safe, safe, safe. Oh, that day 14, that day 14, whoa, it's beautiful, dude. <laughs> Sorry pal, no din dins tonight. Huh, I'm glad that that is over. That is tough. I wonder what the last guy's like. Oh, this is delicious, isn't it? So this is our Seiko no Mi. No, what is it? Seiko no Moto. Seiko no Moto. Victory flavor, if you remember. And that's good, we've just got enough. Oh no, we've got one in reserve, so. We're all good. Looks like we're not getting the food reserves from Louis today. Oh, of course not. He's not back in the Drake. Tomorrow, let's get... Uh, let's get him back so we can get our missing rations. Okay, the synopsis. Ten deaths. Yellows and pinks are above a hundred. Gonna have to work on rocks tomorrow. Okay. Upon felling a large beast, Captain Olimar was spat out like a piece of like a piece of garbage. Thinking of himself, he ran out into this area, and it looks like he was making for his hidden spaceship in order to escape. However, the spaceship appeared to be broken. Tomorrow, we must seize him and get detailed information out of him. <laughs> Signed, Alf. Alrighty, well that brings us to the end of day number 14. It was a humdinger, but I am really, really excited to get on to day number 15, which, guess what, it's going to be uploaded pretty much simultaneous to this one, if not just a little bit afterwards, if all goes to plan. So I better get on to editing that one. I will see you guys very, very soon in day number 15. Thanks so much for watching, please give us a like, keep supporting the channel and help me grow even more. Thanks again and I will see you soon, bye bye.